Alrighty then, let's do this once more again while the other one is recording. Posing. Posemon. <laughs> Pokemon Poison Purple is rendering out. As it shows right there. So here we are doing another Pokemon Creepypasta reading. Apparently, the tags say Pokemon and Death. This one's pretty short, so I'll probably be reading another one. I'll probably look up Patrol Pots, though, because those are so fun to read. As we walked upstairs to go to bed, we noticed our new chandelier was on fire, but not but not with a regular orange color. No, it was an eerie blue flame. No flickers, just silence. Instinct told me to call my <clears throat> to call mom to check it out, but I, scared by the creepy flare, couldn't speak. I just stood there like a statue. My stepbrother finally broke the silence, putting me out of my fear trance. Running down the stairs to catch up, we both told how the chandelier caught on fire. Our parents went back to check it out. After three minutes or so, we heard screams. My stepbrother ran up there to check it out, and soon after he screamed too, I ran upstairs to check it out as no one came downstairs. I saw my stepbrother... I saw my parents and my stepbrother on the floor, lifeless and burning. I looked up at the chandelier, and the last thing I saw before I was burned to death was this horrible burning... was this horrible burning. I looked up at the chandelier, and the last thing I saw before I was burned to death... Wait, what? I looked up at the chandelier, and the last thing... You know, I saw what before I was burned to death was this horrible twisted face with glowing yellow eyes and a mouth that looked like it was stitched together. Oh, wow. If you were burned to death, you are you made this. This makes sense how. Oh, face oof. Ah, uh, that's not the right one. That was like only 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Let's look up troll pastas then. Troll pasta. Wonder what we get. Because that was a stupid creepy pasta. Mmm. Uh, no offense. 404 name not found. Unclever name. <clears throat> Captain Planet. Bloodthirsty, good cooked pastas. Troll you mad, bro. <clears throat> God, my voice. Need more water. find any hmm hold on let me pause the recording and see if I can find any alrighty then we're back <clears throat> I looked up regular show and um I found slender man on a kid show and, and this is about a new show called gravity falls ah oh, damn it ah oh, man I was wondering why I I saw a commercial for Gravity Falls and um I saw I saw like um my brother pointed it out actually it has like an Illuminati thing on it like a triangle with an eye in the inside but ah oh, darn it's not there Ah, uh, man. Satan on the Muppet Show. The Looney Tunes Show. Roger's Creep Show. <clears throat> I 
Ah, darn it. I currently lost episode Spanish. What's this? Rigby.avi. Obviously, it's a regular show. Okay, this was pretty short. I have known the idea who... I have known the idea who made this file. I'm only telling you about my experiences with this file. It was a normal day. Everything was average until I came across a file named Rigby.avi. I'm the kind of guy who would want to see this kind of mysterious file. So I went to download it. That's when everything went downhill. When I clicked the when I clicked the video, there were a few errors before it started playing. I thought this was weird, but I assumed my computer was having some video errors as usual. And the video played finally. It initially showed Rigby's it initially showed Rigby with wide dark eyes, as seen in the episode of regular show This is My Jam. Everything was messed up in black and white, which was weird. Rigby was singing that song that they made in the episode, This Is My Jam. But it was a slower than normal. It was slow, but it was a slower than normal. That's weird. <sighs> not like, not the creepy pasta, but, um, <clears throat> the, whatchamacallit, writing. Yeah, the writing. This went on for a while until it zoomed in on Rigby's face. After that part, it showed some sort of Japanese writing or something. I couldn't read what it said, but I'm sure it said something morbid and weird. Weird. After a couple of days, I started having nightmares of Rigby's of Rigby chanting those damned words over and over. I'm never going to look for weird files on the internet. Or will I? That was idiotic. Candle Cove Street AOBU dot a v i fud dot w n v all right let's go back why i looked for regular show hell if i know the gumball suicide theory so i'm guessing this is uh the gumball thing gum the mysterious world of gumball or whatever it's called maybe it's in the tags no it's just a theory apparently author's note Okay, I know the most gumball pastas that exist on the website are troll pastas. I assure you, this is, this pasta is not a troll pasta. Don't let the topic fool you. The theory. The theory. Dinner with Barack Obama. Huh. Weird. Damn. Ads. I've never watched any shows of the new Cartoon Network, but when I do, I usually... See regular show, Adventure Time, or The Amazing World of Gumball. Hey, me too. High five. Okay, not really Adventure Time. I don't. I don't like the show too much, actually. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to be good at all for me. I'm, it's. I don't know. They make up the randomest of stuff, but. I guess that's the, that's what the show is about. It's decent at times, but. I don't really enjoy it. Nonetheless, I don't even like TV that much. The few times I have watched one of these particular shows, The Amazing World of Gumball, I usually see some episodes where something odd happens. This event reoccurs throughout the entire series. Usually in the middle of an episode, somebody randomly jumps through the school building window and onto the ground. <laughs> I've seen that happen. This usually happens when a character is in some type of danger, like in one episode, where Darwin, one of the main characters, yes, the fish guy, jumps out of one of the school buildings and onto the ground. The reason? It's because he didn't want to kiss one of the school students. Yeah, I remember that episode. Gumball himself has even jumped through the win through a school window and onto the ground sometimes. Many characters have, but they never really got it get seriously injured or killed if you will this is likely due to the fact that it, this is a kid show but that's not the point the point is that in this imaginary and happy world of gumball somebody would do such a thing as symbolizing suicide there's one particular character with which best symbolizes the feel of misery and death one character who probably was the one who truly perished in one of these harmless falls 
Carrie, a ghost character who appears normally in the series, she's filled with misery and hate. And the key word here is ghost. She fits perfectly in the category of suicidal personalities. In the ghost, she states pain is the only emotion she can feel. This is a quote from the Amazing World's Gumball wiki. Um, possibly being the first one to perish, it would make sense that the only emotion she can feel are pain and misery. Could it be that someone actually committed suicide in this otherwise happy, quote unquote, series? This might be, this, this might just be the beginning. New characters can be added to furthermore add proof to the series. But until then, we might never know. That was actually pretty legit. I don't look into shows that deep, but <sighs> it's just not my thing. So that was a, a theory, apparently. Hey, here's the playground, apparently. Oh, mother of God. Mother of God. There's South Park, the Ender Holocaust. I'm guessing that's Star Wars. The Marine in the Snow. Televi OC, Television Theory, Death, Ghost, US. Ah, uh, this is the one show, the Recess, as if I remember. Yeah, I think it's called Recess, and obviously, as you guys can see there, if you guys are actually watching the video and not just for the voice, which I really want to, you guys to hear the voice, actually, not my voice. Or... I messed that up. 11 minutes in. I don't really want to read this. This is like too long. This is like, this is like a freaking short story. God. One of those short stories that take like three days at school because everyone like messes up or something. Because everyone like talks so loud or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I want to read the one, um, uh, the Ed and Nettie one, the Purgatory. Uh, I'll save that for a different time. I don't know which re which readings I just did. I did the gumball one. I did chandelier death. I don't know. Nonetheless, I think I'll just cut it out here. It's 12 minutes, 45 seconds. I've read a decent amount, like two or three. I can't even remember anymore. But... Uh... The playground actually looks kind of decent to read. I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, this is it. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And um, yeah, I hope you guys stick around for another creepypasta reading. And I'll talk to you guys sooner or later, soon enough. Goodbye.